Because you're in a bad mood for some reason. I'm not in a bad mood. So what's your problem? Why are you yeah. snapping at me and shit? What's wrong with that? Do you want to relax? You need to relax, honestly. Do you want to calm yourself? You need to relax. Do you want to calm yourself? It's just a question, Sid. I know we're doing videos, but Dina's dressed up like she's going to the flipping club. Do you like my makeup, Advice guys? questions, and Dina's oh, like oh. so overdressed. Get a close up. Focus on me. And so overdone up. Okay, do you like my eye makeup ready? And then I'm just wearing a hoodie. Like, what is the point in this? And Sid's just jealous. I'm not jealous. You are it's jealous. just like, dress for the part. Jeez. You're jealous. What are you talking about? <laughs> You oh my god! You my sneezed choker. and moved forward. Oh, my choker almost strangled me when I sneezed just then. Are we gonna address the situation that we haven't done a video in ages? No, piss off. Guys, we haven't done questions in ages, but we're back. No, we said that on the other one. We said we're back on the other one. Yeah, but we weren't actually back. No, we were back, but we. I it's told them give weeks. us some time to get into it. All oh, right, okay. Now you've given us some time. Now it starts because. As we said in the last video, situation's gonna get sorted. Now, situation got sorted, now we're on the videos. Right then! With You're you. pushing your knees into my knees, I don't like it. Move your knees. How about you move your knees? No! I, I Look! More space. You're treating me like in the bed, you're getting all this space, and you got me in the corner. No! 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 Just give me my space. I need some space. <laughs> Don't give me my space. Where should I go? Just give me my space. What What are you? We're not praying Salah. Brothers, feet closer. Feet okay. closer. Don't touch knees. Oh, look at look how great that looks now. <laughs> Guys, Flipping, eh? this is titled, You Must Be a Doctor. Hi, Sid and Dina. I hope you guys are well. So I'm going to get straight to the point in it. Here we go. I've been in a strange mood for a while. I think my dad wants me to be a doctor for his benefit rather than mine. Rather than mines. Well, you definitely couldn't be an English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> Rather than mines, just so I can work for the charity. Brackets. He started a charity to build a hospital. Oh. After he's gone. Like, he talks about it all the time, and I'm kind of getting dragged into it. If I say no to him, he gets angry. So I don't mind being a doctor, but I feel like he's just using me. Like, if I have concerns and stuff, he just starts shouting. He wants me to do what he says, because apparently he's right, and that's the only way my life can go. I know you'll... You guys will say it's my own choice, but trust me, I have no choice whatsoever. Like, besides education, there's nothing more to me. I'm fake as F. I'm fake AF. I'm fake AF. I don't even question my dad because he doesn't give me room to. I just have to go along with it. And if I say no, then I'm a bad person for not helping out poor people. Like, I want to help people, but I don't need someone breathing down my neck. He talks about it nearly every day and I've kind of had enough. I know for a fact if I don't become a doctor, then I'm useless to him. Literally, all we talk about is school and the charity. That's all there is to it. So understandably, that's the only reason he talks to me. So yeah, just feeling like a pathetic excuse of a human being. Please keep me anonymous, etc. Any advice would be appreciated. You're going to say it's your choice. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm going to say it's your choice. <laughs> that's what she said, though. Yeah, I know it feels like it's not your choice. But she didn't say how old she was. But you're in school. So he's like getting you ready to become a doctor. So I'm guessing you're going to have to take all the sciences for GCSEs and A-levels and all that business. But, um... When you do get a little bit older, you know, like, if you're not in GCSEs yet, but after GCSEs in college age, I think you will start feeling a bit more like, no, it is my choice, and I will make a stand. If I don't want to be a bloody doctor, then I'm not going to be a bloody doctor. You know, you could still be a part of the charity and the hospital, you just don't have to be a doctor, but you could just be a part of it in some way, you know? A every, lot of Egyptians want their kids to just be doctors. Yeah, every Pakistani... Uh, parents want their kids to be doctors like every single one i guarantee you every single or one. or a lawyer no doctor doctor or lawyer doctor definitely not even lawyer just doctor um it's probably changing now but the old school ones they definitely want their kids to be doctors and i was one of them believe it or not yeah. and it was awful i couldn't even get out of it so um i mean i did all the sciences for a levels as well and what did you, in your head, were you really like, oh shit, I'm going to be a doctor? Yeah. Oh my God, imagine if you were a doctor, how funny. And I wasn't interested, it's, look, we're not, I'm not taking any way, thing away from doctors. Doctor, probably the hardest, one of the hardest jobs in the world. 100%. Yeah. Um, and obviously it's very fulfilling, but we were all forced forced, actually we were flipping forced. <laughs> <laughs> we were all forced to study the sciences and try and do something in medicine or be a doctor so uh it was 
it's funny because me and my sister, we, uh, we passed our science. We passed. We just passed our sciences, GCSEs. I thought you failed. Huh? You liar. You didn't get any GCSEs. What the fuck are you on about? I got like eight, I think. Really? And they were science? Yeah, I passed all three sciences. Oh, What's wow. wrong with you? Okay. Uh, so, no, I didn't, eh? No. You see, hey! Wait, what's wrong with me, Doc? <laughs> Wait, what, what age was I in uni? When I met you, you were in your third year. You were in your third year. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a couple of years behind. And yeah, that yeah. was because my parents... Well, mainly my dad. It was my dad, actually. He was forcing us to study science can't be bothered it's not in us it's not in us to to be doctors and that's the thing you've got to be a certain kind of person to be a doctor you know yeah you've got to want to want it yeah you've got to want to want to be a doctor (laughs) in order to want to want to want to in order to because the graduating as a doctor isn't just a regular three-year degree like most other degrees it's like five or sometimes seven seven, something ridiculous like seven years so you know you really got to want to do it and be prepared to work your butt off during uh, learning about during the education part and also when you just actually work as a doctor you gotta work your butt off all the time so yeah you gotta work your ass off all the time and like and people's lives are in your hands so i know it's, i know i mean deal. for the amount of work doctors do as well they really don't get paid a lot well i mean it depends what kind of doctor you are isn't it? like um, if you're a gp okay that takes a while yeah it takes a while to get to. it GP, takes a though. while so if you're talking about the amount of work you've put into something you can get way better pay jobs. The amount of work you point to being a doctor. So it's really for helping people. If that's your thing, you know, if you can do it, yeah. then it's, it's possibly the most rewarding job ever. Yeah. But money-wise, it's not rewarding at all, if you think about it. Well, to be honest with you, I don't have a clue. But I, I know that the NHS staff are always not happy, right? And I can see why. Whenever we go to the hospital and that, they're always, they're always, they're always like rushed off their feet. Yeah. And not enough staff trying to do everything. Sleep deprived. Sleep deprived, yeah. So we really feel for like NHS staff and all that. Yeah, basically, look, Sid was forced, but in the end, he said, no, mate. And that was when you got to a certain age, right? That was when I got to a certain age. So it depends on what, how old you are. Sooner or later, you're going to muster up enough courage to tell your dad, listen, mate, I don't want to be a doctor. And, and I don't want to waste time me. as well. You don't want to... This is the annoying thing, you know, like... what. It's either when you don't know what you want to do or when you're being forced to do something that you don't want to do, both of them end up being a waste of time, right? Because you always get to a certain point where you like, you pack it all in and then you just do what you actually want to do at yeah. the end of it, right? Yeah. So, it, it, I mean, it's not a waste of time if you actually manage to finish your studies and become a doctor because then, hey, you, you're actually a qualified doctor, right? But it's always a waste of time, you know, if you're in the course for like three years and you're failing everything and you just keep trying. I know people like that who were forced to do medicine and just kept on failing their their years but their parents just made them keep going back on keep back in back in and they never even graduated as doctors because they yeah. just weren't into it they're just doing it for their parents which isn't really fair because no it isn't parents have to realize that it's your life for the end of the day like, because a lot of parents like for example uh like if they didn't have a chance at a good education growing up they want that for their kids they want to live their, their life through them like yeah they want to live what they wanted for themselves through their kids right so but then you know a lot of kids don't want that a lot of kids like me want to be creative unlike you and they and well but, it depends your kid might want it but but if you're pressuring them just let them do what they want if they want to be a doctor they'll go and be a doctor let them do what they want you can guide them it's fine to guide someone like oh is you know this is this is really this is really good career this is really good yeah career. If, are you interested in that if yeah. you are this is what you need to do for it i'll help you out blah 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 that's the important thing from parents, like to have su- to have support in whatever it is that, you that you're interested do. in, yeah. as long as it obviously isn't something stupid like. I think uh, it depends on okay. Stripping. Coming to the oh okay, <laughs> coming yeah, to I the mean... advice at hand to prevent you from wasting time. I mean, fair enough. Okay, you'll come to an age where you can tell him no, but you're gonna have so much regret. Yeah, you need I, to do that now. Yeah, you're me. gonna have so much regret and resentment. It sounds like he's worried that. Um, like, he, he wants you to, like, maybe... He really wants you to be a part of this charity hostel thing. What if you're... Inter- I don't know what you're interested in. What if you're interested in, like, um, a different kind of 
doctor, like a therapist, things like that, where you could talk to oh, that could be. patients that are in need of a different kind of help, right? Maybe you're into that kind of thing. I don't well, know. Maybe you're into project management. Yeah. You maybe could get into the charity and be like a managing project projects. Yeah. That'd be great. That's you the person be, who runs everything. You could be a fundraiser for the charity yeah. if you're if you're that kind of personality. You know, we don't know what it is that you like because you didn't put it in the email, but maybe there are other... Because there's loads of, you know, fields that you could work in in the hospital that isn't in medicine. Yeah. Or in... Unfortunately, in like the Asian and Muslim... Especially because it's a charity as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, in like the Asian and Muslim communities and everything, they look down on everything else. They think a doctor is the epitome of all careers it's, it's like, like success it's oh like the, my my doctor is doctor the best my son is yeah, a doctor and, and everybody else are losers and yeah. it's it's like Nothing the, the most serious. skillful person in the world is a doctor which which is fine you know uh, but there's other things that i think a person skills wise are in, like even something simple as communication i think you know if you have communication skills Bloody hell, you can do anything. Yeah, uh, communication skills are really under yeah. underestimated. You yeah. don't understand how important they are in life. Communication. Yeah, communication... <laughs> you if need you communication, communication skills. skills for everything. Abs- yeah. Absolutely everything. I mean, that's how you get by. If you're yeah. like, able to communicate with different kinds of people. And uh, I know it's like, it probably sounds really basic, that, but you'll be surprised how many people no. find it very difficult yeah. to interact with other people. You know, you know your dad at the end of the day, so... I'm sure you can figure out how, what's the best way to approach it. It might be with a few mind games here and there. How, oh, you know we I haven't mean? said anything about family. If you've got any of the family members, get them to say it to your dad. Yeah, especially like older siblings, maybe. If you've got older siblings, get them to say it to your dad. Especially if they've been forced into medicine and, I mean, I mean they might be happy now because they're working with that, but maybe it's not what they originally wanted to do, right? I mean, that's what happened with, with my older sister, actually. She was forced to do uh, medicine. And she didn't like it, but she kind of just went into it and just went along with it. Off the back of them forcing us, she went up to them and were like, hell no, you're not doing that to them. You put me through hell. You're not putting them through hell. Yeah. So, could be the same she thing. She sorted them out, basically. Yeah, could be the yeah. same thing. You know, if you have an older sibling. And it's really funny, actually, because now, uh, Nafia, who's, what, she's been doctor for ages, isn't it? Yeah. And she's got a baby and stuff, but now she is... Um, starting to what's that word explore yeah she's interested her creative in different side. things yeah because she's realised that actually I think I'm into creative stuff like you know as well like, yeah. d- because they're all quite creative actually we're all guys yeah. are mainly creative. We're, we're creative people so and it's funny because she's worked as doctor and she's working as doctor but now she's starting to explore her creative side and she obviously prefers that a lot more I think you know you, you have something that you know your work can be fulfilling and you enjoy it but then you've got something that like puts a fire in your belly yeah you know what kind of dad do you have right the older you get you'll realize what's the best way to communicate yeah. what you want to him so like you know if you just outright say I don't want to be a doctor that's gonna piss him off and he's not gonna see anything else other than that right but if you start off with talking about the hospital show that you're interested in the charity work and and the project that he's doing and maybe other ways that you could be part of that. So like, you know what you're good at and what you're not. So if it was me, I'd be like, oh, you know, Baba, actually, I'm really good at, you know, haggling with people, let's say, or, you know, making sales or I'm really good at talking to people. So how about I, I, I fundraise for you instead? Things like that. So give him another alternative, you know. And then if you really don't want anything to do with it, you just keep giving him alternatives till you slowly, slowly dwindle, dwindle out of it. That's a good point, though. Um, you know, a pit. Mainly parents like that from experience, right? They want to see results or they don't believe you at all. Yeah. So if you if you tell him what you want to do... And then for, show for, him. Yeah. For example, when I started blogging and all that, my parents were supportive, but they were also like, okay, that's really great that you've got a good hobby, Dina. But you're but wasting what, your time. But what are you going to do for a career? <laughs> what are you going to do for a career, right? And so while I was blogging, I was just working in a call center for money and I was just blogging you know, for like three, four years, completely not making any money out of it, right? And then when I when I was able to start making money and having it as a career, then they start taking it seriously. Like, oh, okay, she's actually able to yeah. have a career with this. Look what she's doing. She's doing loads of things. So, you know, with whatever it is that you decide that you want to do and you love doing, even if it's not, even yeah. if it's a slower process, you will get there in the end if you and keep then, persisting and if it's something that 
genuinely like gets you going, it gets you excited, you know. But so anyway, good luck. Good luck. Uh, hopefully, um, it sorts itself out. Basically. Yeah, and uh, if you can, update us on what's going on, innit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people want to know, well, what happened with this person? What happened with that person? Maybe we should do follow up. Yeah, follow up. We'd videos. love to know what happens. Anyways, see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.